You guys, I want you to meet Quinn. Quinn is a nine month old pity who is the friendliest dog in the world, loves dogs, loves people, super friendly. Very good example of a really, really, really good dog who just doesn't know manners and has never been told how to behave in a way she understands. Walks are currently very stressful with Quinn. As you can see, she just drops and does alligator rolls in the middle of a walk and you can't get her up and you can't keep moving. And recently this happened in the middle of a busy street. And, and it's really frustrating for her owner who's trying to walk her and Quinn won't walk. And so she's actually on a harness with a martingale collar. And as you can see, she does not care about that at all. She will pull through that until she's choking herself out. Um, I slowed this down a little bit upcoming so you can actually see the strain on her neck. She doesn't care about the martingale pressure and she will pull, pull, pull until she's choking. So Quinn was brought to me for some help on the walks. So we are going to swap out the martingale for a 3.0 Herm Springer prong collar. We put, sized and fit the prong collar, put it on her, and we start engagement exercises teaching her what pressure means, how to turn the pressure off, and actually showing her that she's in control of the pressure, not me. She turns the pressure off. So she moves away from me, pressure turns on, she comes back to me, pressure turns off, and she receives praise. We are doing some simple 180 moves in the training room and just showing her all about this new pressure and this new sensation that she feels, teaching her all about proper ways to walk, calm and obedient, and how to be a well-mannered dog. Um, so now I'm switching this over to her owner and teaching her owner how to hold the leash, how to um, use the prong collar correctly, and teaching her that it's not supposed to be engaged 100% of the time and that it's only supposed to be used in moments of pressure and release when you're trying to communicate something to Quinn. So think of every time you um, use the prong collar, you are giving information to Quinn on what you want and what you don't want. So of course we start inside with low distractions and we're ending our lesson outside and of course it's going to be, it's not going to be a perfect walk, you know, the first time you do this, but it's certainly improved and you're able to have this line of communication with your dog um, that you've never had before, whereas before she didn't care at all about the martingale collar, she pulled right through it until she's choking. Now you actually have a way to <clears throat> communicate a little bit more using a tool of communication in a really effective way, and it's very gentle. <clears throat> so definitely seeing some improvement with Quinn and her owner. It's gonna save her owner's arm and shoulders and back from constantly just picking up a 65 pound dog off the ground who's alligator rolling in the middle of a walk. So I'm really excited for these two. It's gonna be really a good progression.